now the sun hasn't completely set. So it's not too late if you want to go somewhere for an even more spectacular sunset. I got you covered. <laughs> it's close by as well. The downside is not free. Little pricey to my standard. From Dubai Harbor, you can either take a direct taxi or simply walk to a Palm Gateway monorail station and get off at Mikael Mall. If you are taking a metro from downtown, then get off at the Dubai Internet City and here's what you do. <sighs> you have to take a taxi from the metro station. Oh yeah, no possible way. So that being said, let's uh, go to exit number three and get our taxi. Now, <laughs> I think it's this like the view. Palm Jumeirah. The Nikhil Mall is one of the newest shopping centers in Dubai and located at the heart of Palm Jumeirah. This upscale mall offers 300 shops, restaurants, and entertainment outlets, including a 13 screen theater. But without a rich Emirati wife, <laughs> I got no money and time for shopping. You know, um, I'm actually on the rush. So this kind of sucks. I actually went, tried to go online to a website, tried to book a ticket, but my payment didn't go through. So I went to another website, I booked a ticket for this, and it cost 100 dirham. But when I arrived, this is the ticket is only valid until 3.30. So I had to do a top up. So the top up is 93 dirhams. That really sucks. It is what it is, but it's not like every single day I'm going to be here. So what that means then is just go up and take a look what they have to offer. I better worth it because this is one of an expensive attraction. Let's go. Your visit began with a short interactive presentation showcasing the history of Palm Jumeirah, followed by a dose of propaganda. I mean, um, a film documenting the aspiration of the ruler of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed, to transform the city into a world-class tourist mecca from the reliance on petrodollars. As well, the challenges of adding hundreds of miles of coastline to a crowded city to host a number of luxury hotels, resorts, villas, and homes for both tourists and locals. After the little video, they, uh, this is a room where they showcase uh, how this island came to be with the constructions and so on. So the museum and the gallery also showcase the creation process, including many of the tools that used to dredge 3 billion cubic feet of fried noodles, I mean, um, uh, sands from the sea floor. <laughs> The construction of the Palm Jumeirah Island began on June 2001 with 7 million tons of mountain rock that was piled around the island to form a crescent-shaped breakwater 7 miles long, designed to protect the newborn island from the waves and the storm. The developers announced the handover of the first residential unit in 2006. At this time, 75% of the property were ready to be handover, with 500 families already residing on the island. By end of 2009, 28 hotels were open on the Crescent. A six-lane undersea tunnel connects the island to the beaches on the Crescent, while the Millie's first monorail runs the length of the island. The 240 meter high observation deck sit on the 52nd floor of the Palm Tower, directly connected to the roof of the Cal Mall. Now, 
As mentioned before, I had to pay extra because I did not arrive before 3.30 or come after 7 p.m. All of the discounted tickets are not valid for sunset. If you purchase one of these tickets, make sure to come on time or get ready to pay a penalty. There is an upper level access for additional fee and a cafe and a gift shop that will certainly help you share some weight by lighting up your wallet. But let's just enjoy the magnificent sunset. After all, I did pay for it. <laughs> As expected, we are going to walk, walk through the souvenir shop with the photos of what they took on the way out. So, um, I need to go meet my friends tonight for supper. It's almost like over 30 minutes, still waiting in line. Uh, however, I am next. 